And you know, this is year number 11 for Roar on the Shore. Every single year, whether you talk about the amount of bikes, whether you talk about the amount of spectators, it just gets bigger and better. It does get bigger and better. And uh, our very own Jackie Roberts, she is like one of the best seats in the house if you're down yeah. here. Across Bird's the way, eye view. Above Sherlock's on the balcony. Jackie, what do you have for us tonight? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have the best view in town here. I'm standing on the balcony of Sherlock's where you can really see everything that's going on on Roaring the Shore. Just take a look at those hundreds of bikes that are lined up already, and the crowds are really filling in. But of course, what comes with that high capacity of people is also a strong security presence. Erie police officers are on guard throughout the duration of Roaring the Shore. Several officers cover the festival from the stage all the way up to 10th and State Street. A few years ago, the police department made the transition to use bicycles to get around through the crowds. Officials said the officers are higher up and can see a lot more on their bikes than on foot. They can also get through the crowds quicker if something goes wrong. The deputy chief tells us they're keeping an eye out for petty thefts and typical crimes they see in the downtown area. We still have the rest of the city we have to worry about, and that's our primary focus. Uh, the Roar on the Shore event is paid in overtime for officers, so it's additional officers, including our neighborhood action team and our saturation unit. But the police department is also getting some help from some other organizations, the state police, state patrol, and the Erie County Sheriff's Department, along with some other groups are also here helping patrol to make sure you're safe while enjoying the festival. Back to you.